I'm going to move some crypto around for you guys. Uh, I had an idea to show you how to move Bitcoin from one ledger to another. So I'm going to do that. So we have two ledgers and there's Bitcoin in this ledger that I would like to move into this ledger. Um, and I'd like to show you how to do it. But the, the trick is, is that Bitcoin is not in these ledgers. Uh, the Bitcoin is on the blockchain. So we could think of that as I have two car keys and I have two cars out in my driveway and I would like to, you know, uh, move them around. I'd like to move one out into the street and maybe there's one in the street I'd like to pull into the driveway. And so I need these car keys to go shuffle these cars. So that's kind of what we're talking about here because we're not moving Bitcoin from this one to this one. Although, in effect, logically, we can think of it like that. So I have two devices, and I'd like to move some Bitcoin that is being managed on this device over to my son's, Alex's device, right? Notice I have a label on Alex, so I don't get that con confused. So first of all, let's look at uh, my ledger live. All right, so in my ledger live, I have uh, some Bitcoin in this wallet. This wallet is being managed by my device, right? I would like to move this Bitcoin over to Alex's device. So we can look at Alex's copy of Ledger Live, uh, but you can see, okay, he's got some Bitcoin, he's got some Solana, he's got a little bit of Ethereum, he's got some other stuff or whatever, but this is his device, right? This is the Ledger Live that is tied to his device. Right. How can I move the Bitcoin in my copy of Ledger Live over here? Right? How would I accomplish that? Right. So how, could I, how can I access uh, Alex's uh, Bitcoin so that I can move my Bitcoin from my device onto his device? Theoretically, right? We know Bitcoin is on the blockchain. We're moving Bitcoin from one blockchain address to another, but these devices manage that. Well, I've already got um, my device represented here in this copy of Ledger Live. So let's take Alex's device. Let's connect it. I'm going to enter the pin. This is Alex's device, right? So what I want to do is I want to add a Bitcoin account to my Ledger Live based on Alex's device. Well, how do I do that? Well, I connect his device and then I go to my Ledger Live and hit add account. And I say I want to add a Bitcoin account. So it now it finds his Bitcoin account. You remember we were looking at Alex's Bitcoin account over in Alex's copy of Ledger Live. Well, now I can see it in my copy of Ledger Live, right? And I named it Bitcoin Alex so I don't get confused, right? We're, we're dealing with Alex's device, right? So I'm naming the account appropriately. Now I've got his Bitcoin account right here. And I need to move some Bitcoin from my Bitcoin account over to his account. Well, how do we do that? The first thing we'll do is get his address. We'll hit receive, continue, and then it'll do the hardware check just so we know we haven't made any mistakes. And there's the address on Alex's device verifying that this account is tied to this device. I've copied that into my clipboard and then I can go ahead and approve this and I'm done. Now I need to move Bitcoin from my account to his account. Well, I've got the destination address, right? So let's go into the account. Let's hit send. Hopefully the blockchain fees aren't going to be too bad. Blockchain fees are kind of weird. They could be high during last a couple of weeks ago. I had like a $35 fee and I gave up. Well, let's hit continue. Uh, $2.51 looking good. Now here's the, I'm going to go ahead and send it all. Uh, goes up to four dollars. I can deal with that. Let's hit continue. Uh, now here's the issue. When I hit continue, what's going to happen? Well, it's going to tell me that the wrong device is attached because this is Alex's device. The destination is associated with his device, but the source is associated with my device. So I need to disconnect Alex's device and I need to connect my device. All right, I need to enter my PIN. All right, and now I have access to my device. 
So let's retry. Because my device has, uh, can manage this account. Because this account was created with this device. So it's going to load up. And uh, I, it, I have the right device attached. So I need to review the output. Uh, there's the amount. There's where it's going. That was Alex's, that's Alex's address. We're going to hit continue. Now we need to approve the fees, which weren't that bad, right? Four bucks. I can live with that. Hit both buttons. Off it goes. And I'm done, right? Now I have zero Bitcoin in this account. Let's go back to accounts. Let's go up here to Alex. And lo and behold, Alex's balance is up. There's that received transaction and good, right? We moved Bitcoin from my device to his device, theoretically, right? Actually, it's just addresses out there on the blockchain. I don't need Alex's account in my copy of Ledger Live because it's going to like make my portfolio be weird, right? It's going to have Alex's balance in there. So I am going to just remove this, right? If we go to accounts, I'll just go up to Alex. I'll right click and I'll say edit account and then remove from portfolio because I don't need to see it anymore. I've already made the transfer. So there's no point in managing or, you know, observing his Bitcoin account in my ledger live. I like to kind of keep an eye on my balance rather than his, right? So uh, now let's turn the sky off. So how can we confirm that it ended up in Alex's copy of Ledger Live? All right, let's go and look at Alex's Ledger Live. And there we go. Lo and behold, if we go to accounts and we check that Bitcoin, there's that incoming Bitcoin, right? So we have effectively transferred that Bitcoin from my device, my Ledger Live, over to Alex's device in his Ledger Live. Easy peasy, right? All we had to do was connect his device, temporarily set up the account, get the receiving address, and then make the transfer. Once the transfer was done, I just did a little cleanup in my copy of Ledger Live by deleting that account. So now my Ledger Live reflects my balances, his Ledger Live reflects his balances. I can take Alex's device, right, and I can put it in the box, right, and close that and just put it on a shelf, right, and then, you know, when he goes to college, he can need it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click. That will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.